So this question is what I call a translate word problem question. I know that just given the sheer length of the question, any question beyond four lines long, I'm going to call a translate word problem question. And all that means is that I'm anticipating that I will need to translate what I read here and turn it into some type of math <clears throat> mathematical model, equation, formula, uh, maybe even draw a picture, some type of translation. So let's read and see what we're going to translate. So the first sentence here says, in a science classroom, when labs are performed, students are seated at lab tables. Okay, nothing to translate there. That's perfectly clear. The next sentence is, if the teacher assigns two students to each lab table, four additional lab tables will be needed to seat all of the students. Okay, so let's translate that. If the teacher assigns two students to each lab table, first of all, I'm going to say that T represents table. So in terms of the number of students, right now I'll say S is students, okay? So the number of students that we have is going to be equal to uh, two times the number of tables we have, right? Because obviously um, if we have a number of tables, we're going to see two students at each table. But then the question says we'll need four additional lab tables um, to fit all the students. So not only will it be the two times T, but we'll also have an additional four tables, right? So now we're not using T because we're told, it's not a variable, we're told how many tables we need. So I'm gonna add eight. That number eight comes from the fact that there are four tables and at each table there are two students, right? So that eight represents the number of students at those four tables, whereas this two times T represents the number of students at the unknown value of T tables that, this, that the class starts off with. So just want to make sure that's clear. S equals 2T plus 8. Next sentence. If the teacher assigns four students to each lab table, four lab tables will not be used. So that's like a T minus 4, right? So T, whatever our original T value was, if we subtract 4, the number of students is equal to four times that value. And hopefully that makes sense based upon what we read. That is the translation. If we put four students at each lab table, which would be 4T, but then we're told that it's not going to be T because we're not going to use four of those tables. So that's why we have T minus four, right? So we take the T that we started off with, we subtract four from that number of T tables, and we multiply by four to get the number of students. So we have two equations, two unknowns, both equations are isolated for S. So what I'm going to do is substitution. I'm going to take this 2T plus 8 and bring it over here and substitute the S for that 2T plus 8, right? So basically making or setting each equation equal to each other. So I'm going to have the equation 2T plus 8 is equal to T minus 4. And now we just solve it like we normally would, right? So I'm going to subtract T from both sides. I'm going to subtract 8 from, I'm sorry, subtract 8 from both sides. And when I'm left with, oh, I forgot something. I forgot my 4. How could I do that? This is actually going to be S equals 4T minus 16. All right, so let me erase some things here. Sorry about that. And get back to it. So I have 2T plus 8 is equal to 4T minus 16. I am going to actually subtract 2t from both sides here, and I am going to add 16 to both sides here so that my 2t's cross out. 8 plus 16 is 24. 4t minus 2t is equal to 2t. The 16's are gone. I divide both sides by 2, and I get t is equal to 12. Now, the question asks how many students are in the science class, not how many tables, right? So t is tables. Let's not forget that. So students, I can use either one of these equations that I like. I'm going to start with the first one and just say, well, the number of students I have is equal to two times the number of tables, which is 12 plus eight. Two times 12 is 24 plus eight is equal to 32. So 32 is an answer here. I have a feeling that there's more than one possible answer because, right, if I only had, if I, let's say I have a table of that can fit four, right? Let's say that's my 12th table. Well, I could also have a table that only has three students there, right? So, or two students would make more sense since we're going by twos or the other way. 
So I can have a, say, a table of two students, but I would still need this table. I would still need this 12th table. If I only have one student here, I would still need this 12th table. So 32 is my answer, but I would imagine that things like 31 or 33 or 29 would also possibly work. But you could, you know, tell me if you use a different method and found a different answer. That also is true. But this way of translating this word problem or translating the information provided here is a fail-proof direct method to finding the answer.